square root. Squaring a number is another mathematical operation. So, squaring is a another mathematical operation. What are the fundamental four operations? Very good. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Isn't it? Like that, squaring a number is another mathematical operation. So, whether squaring is a mathematical operation or not, yes, it is a mathematical operation. When they are asking in one mark, you should know it is a mathematical operation. Just like addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. Most mathematical operations have inverse, that is opposite operations. Most mathematical operations have inverse operations, that is opposite operations. For example, subtraction is the inverse of addition. It is the opposite operation of addition. What is the opposite to uh, subtraction? Addition. What is the opposite to addition? Subtraction. Understand? So, division is the inverse of multiplication. Division is the inverse of multiplication. Multiplication is the inverse of division. So, squaring also has an inverse operations. What is that name? Square root. So, the inverse operation of squaring is dash. Square root. Squaring, squaring also has an inverse operations. Namely, finding the square root. So, squaring and square root are the inverse operations. What is the inverse operations of square root? Squaring. Squaring is an inversion oper inverse operation of square root. Understand? Next one. The square root of a number n. This is a general form. Just instead of a number, they have represented it as n. Understand? So, the square root of a number n return root n. You can write it as root n or n to the power of half. n to the power of half. n to the power of 1 by 2. n to the power of 1 by 2. Otherwise, n to the power of half. Either you can write like this or this. Root, the square root of a number. Understand? So, the square root of a number n written root n is the number that gives n when multiplied by itself. For example, root 81 is what? 9. Because 9 nines are 81. Understand? For that number, how can you get the root? When you are multiplying the number by itself. Read that root n answer n now root 81 root 81 n answer if root n put it in root of 9 into 9 out of these two numbers you will take one that is this 9 is multiplied by itself up in the number character other than put it in the Root n is the number that gives n when multiplied by itself. Root 9 into root 9 equal to 9. Understand? Root 9 into root 9 will give you 9. Understand? Next one. In the adjacent table, we have square roots of all the perfect squares starting from 1 to 100. You see, this you know, isn't it? 1 square is nothing but 1 into 1. 1, 1 is 1. 2, 2 is 4. 3, 3 is 9. 4, 4 is 16. 5, 5 is 25. 6, 6 is 36. 7, 7 is 49. 8, 8 is 64. 9, 9 is 81. 10, 10 is 100. Like that you should be able to say it out. Solla theri nundi kandu. Puritunga, idu vandu aduttu. Inge Root 1 is 1. Root 1 is 1. Root 4 is 2. Root 4 is 2. Understand? Root 9 is 3. Because 3 squared is 9. 3 into 3 gives you 9. Here 9 into 9 gives you 81. Understand? 9 into 9 gives you 81. So root 16. What? 4. 
we told you no inverse operations understand root 25 is 5 root 36 is 6 root 49 is 7 root 64 is 8 root 81 is 9 root 100 is 10 thoroughly theriyum puridhungala eppa kettalum theriyum please be thorough with this statement understand if 11 square is 121 then what is root of 121 root of 121 is 11 11 squared is 121 root of 121 is 11 because 11 into 11 gives you what 121 understand within the root you can write With, for 121 only i am giving this if you are writing in root root understand next 529 equal to 23 squared 23 square understand 529 equal to 23 square then what is the square root of that is root of 529 what square they have given 23 square so root of 529 is 23 if we know that 324 equal to 18 square we can immediately tell that root of 324 is 18 understand and now please read all this introduction part very clearly ellaru verum kanakku poradhala da irukringale ulli in introduction ki importance e kudukka maatendringa in the introduction parts therinja in the sum and nammale try pannala teachers nadathrathukku munnadiye nama try pannala we can try on our own புரியுதுங்களா அடுத்தது we have 1 1 and so 1 is the square root of 1 similarly minus 1 the whole square equal to 1 why for minus the power is even number understand the power is even number that is minus 1 into minus 1 minus into minus plus 1 1 is 1 understand so for minus 1 the whole square also you are getting 1 for 1 square also you are getting 1 1 square equal to 1 minus 1 square equal to 1 similarly you can say for 2 no so minus 1 is also the square root of 1 understand so minus 1 is also square root of 1 for root 1 is equal to 1 understand root 1 is equal to 1 next one is what minus 1 is also square root of 1 root 1 is equal to what minus 1 understand so 2 squared is 4 and so 2 is the square root of 4 similarly minus 2 the whole squared equal to 4 so minus 2 is also the square root of 4 so root 4 is what 2 root 4 is minus 2 so plus 2 Minus two. Understand? So this continues. Three square is equal to nine, and three is the square root of nine. Similarly, minus three the whole square equal to nine. So minus three also a square root of nine. Here, the above example suggests that there are two integral roots for a perfect square. Understand? How many integral roots are there? Two integral square roots. Two integral square roots. There are two integral square roots. Or a perfect square number. Or a perfect square number. The above example suggests that there are two integral square roots. Or a perfect square number. So integral square root to move the root four. Root four equal to plus two minus two. So how many integral roots? Two integral roots. But how many perfect square? Only one perfect square. Yeah means what? One perfect square. Understand how many perfect square? One perfect square. For that one per perfect square, how many integral square roots? Two integral square roots. Understand? So, however, in working out problem, we will take up only positive integral. When we are working out problem, what will we take? Only positive integral square root. What we will take? Only positive integral square root. We are not taking negative. The positive square root of a number. Denoted by the symbol, इधर दिखाने का सिंबल। इधर का पैर रैडिकल, रैडिकल सिंबल। What is the name of the symbol? Radical। इधर वन मार्क लगे पाग। 
they will ask in one mark what is the name of the symbol radical thus root 4 is 2 and not minus 2 also root 9 is 3 and not minus 3 we have to remember that this is a universally accepted notation here is next one square root through prime factorization before doing this you should know the prime numbers prime numbers means it has only two factors one and the number itself for two what are the factors 1 2 for 3 what are the factors 1 3 for 5 what are the factors 1 5 but for 4 what are the factors 1 2 4 so this is not a prime number this is a composite number first is 6 Six can be splitted. Prime factorization of the numbers. Six. What is it? Two three six six. Next eight. Two into two into two. How can you write like this? Eight. Because eight. Isn't it two? Four two six eight. Two two six four. Isn't it? Next. Similarly, twelve. Twelve means what? Twelve. First one is what? Prime factorization. Understand prime number you got six two sir twelve again what two three so two into two into three next fifteen what is it five ending with five so I am taking five five is a prime number how many fives three fives are fifteen next you see here the square of the given number here six square six square is what thirty six eight square is sixty four eight eight sir sixty four twelve square is what twelve twelve sir hundred and forty four 15 square is what 225 here 36 you are doing the prime factorization for 36 you are doing the prime factorization 2 1 2 is 2 remainder 1 8 2 sir 16 2 9 2 sir 18 3 3 3 sir 9 here you see 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 how many 2s are here 2 that means 2 square into 3 square Isn't it? That is, it can be written as two into three the whole square. So previous to this, you can write this step. Understand? That is, thirty-six equal to two into two into three into three. That means what? Two squared into three uh, three squared. That means what? Two into three the whole square. This is nothing but six square. For six, what did you get? Two into three. You see. So the same number it is squared here. Similarly, for eight squared is sixty-four. Just you try to have sixty-four. Two, three twos are six. Two twos are four. Two, one two is two. Remainder one six twos are twelve. Two, eight twos are sixteen. Two, four twos are eight. Two, two twos are four. One two three four five six. Two one two three four five six. So. What is it? Here, how many twos you got? Two into two into two. That means two into two into two the whole square. Same way. For twelve, what did you get? Two into two into three. That means twelve square means what? Two into two into three the whole square. Same thing only you will get. Here, fifteen. What did you get? Three three into five. That means fifteen square means three into five the whole square. So now look at six and its prime factors. How many times do two and three occur? Thirty-six in the list. What another one? Two times. Two into three. Two times. Understand? Two into two into two. Two times. Puri thada kana. Now, now look look at its square thirty-six and its prime factor. How many times do two and three occur in thirty-six? Here, path to number. So repeat the above cases. ये दिलेन्द्र नाम के इन्ना कैटेच दिए दो ना. The number of times a prime factors occur in the square of a number equal to how many times? Twice the number of times. Twice the number of times. ये दो ना. Twice the number of times it occurs in the prime factorization of the number puri idungla vandiruka 2 nu vandiruka da illaya twice 2 into 3 na twice puri idungla adutha enna adu 2 into 2 into 2 na twice so that the number of times 
a prime factors occur in the square of a number twice the number of times it occur in the prime factorization of the number so this is the conclusion puridhungala da kanna do you follow so you please read the introduction carefully and try to frame a one mark on your own understand thank you